Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. For this week, I'm doing a plan with me for February 27th through March 5th. So this is the week that we are transitioning into March and that is super exciting because it just reminds me that spring and summer are just around the corner and I love spring and summer. They're my favorite months, definitely summer because I have a long break and I get to travel and everything. So looking forward to that. Um, anyways, for this week, I will be using this kit from ANC Stickers. Um, I chose this kit because I feel like it's still kind of February-ish for like the last two days of February, but definitely going into spring with a lot of the florals. Um, this quote box is so adorable. It says, darling, don't forget to fall in love with yourself first. So I really like that. And still, that just kind of still reminds me of the, you know, romantic vibes of February and Valentine's Day and things like that. So real quickly, these are the sheets. I'm just showing you what it comes with there's so many pages and this was actually all of this was actually only ten dollars because ANC stickers does a deal of the week where a full kit like this is only ten dollars so definitely check out her shop if you're ever looking for stickers on a budget and yeah so let's just go ahead and go ahead and get started um, as always I'm going to put down my bottom washi to begin Okay, so I know I say this every single week, but I honestly love the bottom washi in this kit. A lot of times when I'm choosing what kit to buy, I usually look at the full boxes and the bottom washi, and if I like those two things, then I usually will buy a kit because I feel like those are the two most important elements when you're like pulling a spread together. So anyways, moving on to my sidebar, I was debating between the two quote boxes, and I chose this one even though I like the other quote better, but I think this box has more vibrant colors, and I definitely wanted that on my sidebar, so I went with this quote and then I put down both habit trackers and for my happy mail I used a strip of washi and then I layered over a happy mail label or header to um just make that stand out a little bit more and this week for my habit trackers I'm tracking my running as well as playing with my cat because I just realized recently that I don't play with her as often as I should and then for my dinner I just put down another strip of washi with a dinner header over it and then at the very bottom I just put down some deco for Monday, I start by using a glitter header from Mandy Dreams, and then I put down that double dot label sticker, which I think is so cute, and the paperclip bow sticker is from Planner Frenzy. I use that to mark that it was minimum day at my school. It was actually minimum day every day this week because it was parent conferences, but I didn't really feel like marking it for every single week. I feel like if I just marked it on Monday, I would remember it for the rest of the week. So moving on, I put down a to-do header and then a heart checklist underneath that. I used an IEP sticker from Lily Grove Designs to mark a meeting that I had and then um, underneath that I put down a quarter box or a quarter label box with a little meeting sticker from Sweet Kawaii Design. For Tuesday I start by using a today header and then I put down a half box to mark that it was payday. Those balloons are from Kylie and Chaos and the payday sticker is actually from the kit. Um, the coffee sticker that I just put down is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams and I use that to mark that I wanted to get my morning coffee on that day and then I used an, another glitter header from Manny Dreams with a cut up heart checklist to mark the things that I had to get done at work. At the end of the day I used a full box to mark some meetings that I had because it's minimum day, a lot of times I actually have more meetings than I usually do. I end up attending a few meetings before the day is over. So anyways, that alarm clock sticker is from Planning World. And then the IEP sticker again is from Lily Grove Designs. Uh, at the very bottom, I trimmed off the excess of the full box because I just felt like I didn't need that whole space. Um, so then moving on to Wednesday, I start by putting down a header and then a matching dark blue heart checklist to mark my to-dos for the day. Then I I put down a full box and the french fry stickers are from dizzy daisy dreams i use that to mark that my coworkers and i wanted to get lunch out which we almost never get to do we maybe go out like twice a year for lunch so it was a really special occasion and then the uh gold glitter laptop or i'm sorry the gold foil laptop sticker is from planning world at the bottom of the day, I used a bill due sticker to mark that my rent and my credit card bills were due. Super fun stuff. And then moving on to Thursday, I put down a glitter header. Those are also from Mandy Dreams. I believe I only used um, glitter headers from her shop this week. And then I put down 
uh, the ombre heart checklist that I had originally cut up thinking that I only needed four hearts, but that wasn't true. So I just like pieced it back together when I put it down. Again, the IEP sticker is from Lily Grove Designs. And if you're new to my channel, IEPs are meetings that we hold for students in special education. And I attend them really regularly at least a couple times a week. So I was really happy to have found a whole sheet of those IEP meetings that I can use. And for Friday, I started by putting down a today header and the balloon stickers are actually from the kit. The TGIF sticker is from Little Red Prince. And oh, I think I forgot to mention this earlier, but the pen that I'm using this week is my Paper Mate Enjoy gel pen in 0.7. I really love these pens, but I have bought some that, um, the ink was a little skippy. I don't know what the actual term for that is, but it'll um, just kind of like stop sometimes and whatnot. So it can be annoying. This one that I'm using for my planner has always been really great. So I think it just kind of depends on which batch you get. So anyways, um, I put down a ombre heart checklist and then a double dot label to mark a meeting that I had that afternoon. For Saturday and Sunday, I just put down glitter headers with the weekend banner over it. And then this is how my spread is looking so far. So um, just really quickly, my plan style is kind of a mix of planning in advance and memory planning so before the week begins I'll sit down and I'll plan out everything that I can which usually is just work related things and then afterwards I go back in and kind of memory plan or scrapbook um, things that happen in my personal life throughout the week and so now I've transitioned to my memory planning um, I put down a personal header with a little half box and that cat face sticker is from Samantha May sticks and um, at the bottom of the day I used a little things header to mark that we watch TV. For Tuesday, the little shoe icon is from Planning in Mint, and then the TV sticker is from the kit, and I use that to watch that to mark that we watch TV again. For Wednesday, um, that sushi sticker is from Wild Sunshine Co. It's so, so cute. And I use that to mark that we went to a friend's goodbye dinner. He was um, moving the next day, so we kind of did a last goodbye dinner with his family and stuff. And then the Froyo sticker is from Samantha May Sticks. So I fill in some things in my sidebar, and I move on to Thursday. I start by using a hexagon sticker from Lemon Paper Co. to mark the time of a meeting that I had that afternoon. And then the adorable little coffee sticker is from Love for Stickers. It is so cute and teeny and fit perfectly in that spot. So next, I just put down a full box at the end of the day. I had some trouble getting it on straight, but these stickers are so, so removable that it was not a problem. I actually was able to remove stickers like days later, so it was so perfect. Like I need stickers that are like this. Um, anyways, that laptop and Me Time sticker are both from the kit. I use that to mark that I just had some time to myself to like watch play with me and do my planning because my boyfriend was staying late at work that day and at the very bottom I used a meals little things to mark where I had picked up dinner for the night so I'm just filling that in right now and then I move on to Friday so for Friday I switched things around a little bit um, I picked up some lunch on Friday so I wanted to mark that and then I used a half box to mark our dinner we went to macaroni grill to celebrate someone's birthday and the wine sticker is from Kylie and chaos at the very bottom I wanted to sleep early the um, sleeping mask sticker is from planning in mint I think they're so adorable for Saturday I start by using a half box with a boba sticker from a happy blue tree um, she has some of my favorite kawaii stickers for sure and then I whited out okay so I always white out gray headers because a lot of matte paper tends to be more thin and you can always see the gray peeking out from underneath um, and I just I'm just really picky and I don't like seeing the gray coming out so that's why I always use white out to just cover that up so anyways for Saturday I used Emile's little things to mark my lunch and then I put down a full box with a film sticker over it that film sticker is from Samantha May sticks and I use that to mark that I filmed my haul video which should be going live on my channel probably like a couple days after this one goes up um, anyways moving on the movie marquee is from the kit and I use that to mark that I watch La La Land again I did just watch it last weekend but I had to see it again and I had to show my boyfriend he really liked it as well the glitter header is again from Mandy Dreams and then that little paper clip bow is from Planner Frenzy it's the same one that I used at the beginning of the week I use that to mark that I had to do my February budgeting which I try to do for every week just or for every month just so I know kind of what categories I'm spending the most on each month at the bottom I use two little things to mark our dinner and then Oh my goodness, I started watching This Is Us and it is so, so good. I think I binged watched three episodes in a row and I just love it. So I'm definitely hooked on that. For Sunday, I put that quote box at the very bottom and then I had switched around the headers a little bit. So I took up the header from, or the glitter header from Saturday and I put that on Sunday. And then instead I replaced it with a blue header. 
So for the top of Sunday, I used a Coffee Monsters Co. Emoji at the top to mark that my boyfriend cooked us breakfast. It was so, so good. And the nail sticker is from Lemon Paper Co. And that heart sticker as well as the Laundry Day sticker are both from the kit. I use that half box just to mark some of the things that I wanted to get done around the house. The dishes sticker is from Dots and, Dots and Dashes Studio. The um, grocery sticker is from Lemon Paper Co. And the upload sticker is from Love for Stickers. So now I'm just filling in some things in my sidebar and that's pretty much my completed spread. Oh, sorry, I forgot. I cut up some flags to put at the top corner so that it would match a little bit better. Now I'm just showing you the stickers that I have left in the kit. I do have quite a lot of things left over, which is pretty typical because um, as a white space planner, every time I use really large kits like this, I have so many things left over, but I save everything so that I can use it for future spreads if needed. And yeah, so this is my completed spread. I really hope you enjoyed it. I do want to mention one thing. Um, I switched out that sidebar sticker at the very bottom. Um, originally it was a dark blue sticker, but I felt like there was too much dark on that side of the page. So I switched it for the yellow one instead um, to pull in some lighter colors and I really really like how I did that so I did that off camera and I'm sorry I didn't film that part um so yeah anyways this is the final look I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for all of your support in the last like few months that I've had my YouTube channel I've been just so overwhelmed with all the kind comments that I've been getting so thank you all so so much I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you in my next video bye